morning. Welcome to the uh, Data Explorers um, Stock Learning Daily Briefing for Wednesday, the 8th of October. Um, covering regulatory news first. Um, today, the SEC um, ban on short selling comes to the end. There's been no news on whether that ban will be extended. It currently uh, has around 950 stocks that are currently on ban. We're expecting an announcement later today. Given that the SEC have said nothing so far, uh, the market is expecting that that ban will be lifted as of midnight today. Um, we'll know more on that one later. Um, the Hong Kong, um, we noticed last night, the standard reported that Hong Kong is ready to impose a ban on short selling, which could take effect immediately. According to the standard, word of the plan emerged after Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission warned on Tuesday it was prepared to crack down on illegal short sales as the market situation becomes unstable. The agency said it was prepared to implement more aggressive measures in the event that any abusive short selling is identified. Whether or not a ban in Hong Kong actually remains to be, or is, is put in place, remains to be seen, but certainly there's indications that uh, there may be a ban on short selling shortly. Um, secondly, current crisis news, as we know, the Bank of England today announced their £50 billion rescue package. Um, the FTSE is already down 6%. I expect they think it's too little, uh, too late. Um, it, it is up from the uh, lows of the uh, open this morning, and let's see what happens throughout the day. Um, Spain have announced a 50 billion, 50 billion euro emergency fund to buy Spanish bank assets, and now prepared to guarantee deposits up to 100,000 euros whereas previously at €20,000. Um, interest rates in Australia were cut by 1% last night. Um, UK, US and Europe are expected to announce a drop in interest rates tomorrow. Let's see how much that amount comes to. Um, on the DESLI index, um, Data Explorer Start Lending Index, I thought it was worth highlighting um, some of the key changes in the last few days at a sector level. And um, what's very interesting is sector level, uh, technology uh, sector globally has gone up from 100 when it was when it was first launched on the 1st of September up to, up to 123.97, so a 23.97% increase in the amount of loans in the technology sector, indicating a, a fairly bearish consensus opinion around the technology sector. Uh, real estate, particularly in uh, Europe, now currently at 131.01, up 31% from the launch on, from 1st of September, and in the US 119.91. Um, globally, the auto sector currently at 122.65, there's been some pretty negative figures out um, in terms of uh, new car sales, over the last, especially in the UK over the last month, and that's reflected across the sector globally. Um, not surprisingly, banks uh, in the US, 53.77, so starting at 100 in 1st September, uh, the amount of uh, uh, inventory on loan for the US bank sector now 53.77, reflecting that ban in short selling. Uh, if indeed we do get a lifting of the ban in uh, financial stocks um, tonight, uh, we might expect that number um, to increase over the next month. Um, in Asia, 109.82, so actually gone up um, a little bit over the last uh, month. Europe down to 88.67, and the UK at uh, 71.42. I'm sure markets are proving a big distraction uh, this morning for all, so that's it from the Stock Lending Daily Briefing. Thank you.